If y'all want to learn how to catch big old whopping bass like this one right here in the Texas summer heat, stay tuned and Jacob and I are going to show y'all how. All right, y'all, we just arrived at the spot. Look at that pretty sunrise over there. And it is looking good out there. And I hear a mallard out there too. And duck season is right around the corner. I told Jacob that, you know, don't get too excited. It's not fantastic out here, but it's pretty good. So we're gonna get the kayaks in the water. There's that duck out there on the water. I don't know if y'all can make that out. Yeah, right up on my finger. It's actually a wood duck over there. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get the kayaks on the water. I'm gonna toss the drone up in the air and we're gonna throw some top waters to start out with. And if they're not hitting that, I'm gonna put the drone up and we'll start orking the tree line over there and see what we can do. So stay tuned. I realized the drone footage here is a little choppy. I wasn't exactly trying to give y'all a, a good view of the sunrise or of the field or of the lake. It just sort of worked out like that and I thought it looked pretty nice. Here's a better view of that sunrise from the ground. Not gonna lie, y'all. I'm not 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 uh, super confident with the top water out here right now. I think I'm gonna throw something I'm a little more confident with, like this thing. I should have touched on that more. The reason I wasn't confident with it was because the water temperature was so hot. I sort of felt like the fish were gonna be a little bit inactive, so more of a finesse technique was gonna work out. This is a little bit unrelated to fishing, but I recently figured out how to get my drone to just follow me around and record me, which I think is awesome because that makes it a lot easier to get cool shots like this. So I'll be using that a lot more in the future and you get to look forward to that. Boy, that is a deep cast there. Got one. Little. Little. I wanted to keep flying the drone around and get cool shots, but that noise right there is the controller telling me that the drone is currently landing because it's just about out of battery. The battery life of those drones is about 20 minutes max if I'm just hovering there. Usually they last about 15 minutes. Now I've got four batteries so I could just keep on going back to the bank and getting another battery but that's such a pain in the rear end. So I just decided to land the drone, forget about it and go fish. I just lost a really big bass here. I dropped my jig in the water and he sucked it down before it was even in the water. I was not ready. He spit it out as I set the hook and I just didn't have my camera running. Dang, that's too bad. Maybe there's another one here. I got one. I don't know how big he is. 
Oh, he was taking me for a ride though, so he must have been pretty big. Dude, I'm dying over here, Jacob. He's pulling me, you know? Guys, that's two really nice fish I've lost. That's my own fault. I didn't, they both hit it on the fall too. Ah. It's all about that patience. I'm telling you, they're in here. And they definitely were in there. But look at that sky. Bluebird sky, sunny skies. It was gonna be super hot. It was really just shaping up to be one of those days where you were really gonna have to grind to catch them. And boy, was it a grind. I guess I got nothing to lose by just chunking it over all that. Except for my $8 jig when I do that. <laughs> all right, let's not do that again. You hear that squeaking? I couldn't figure out what it was until I saw it. Couple river otters swimming around. Otters swimming around. Yeah, right there. Look at that. <laughs> you see, to cast, you have to have your bail open. What are you looking at? <laughs> Jacob got out of his kayak to stretch his legs a little bit and ended up stepping on a huge wasp nest on the ground. It had been a while since we'd had a bite, so the action from the otters and the wasps was a nice little mood reset. We decided to reassess the situation and come up with a solid game plan. That game plan was pretty much what we had already been doing. Here it is. Alright guys, it's been about three and a half hours since I caught that first fish and it has been very, very slow. So what we're doing now is, let me show you what I'm using here. I've got a Biko non-lead jig, a lead-free jig, it's tungsten. So it sinks really fast and it sits like this and it's very, very weedless. So I can get it right up in that cover and those bass are gonna be holding to that cover. I mean, it's almost 100 degrees, y'all, and it's not even 11 o'clock, it's insane. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow it way down and just really, really grind it out. Those fish sometimes need to see these lures three or four times, even five times sometimes before they hit them. Uh, they're just kind of, they're slow right now. The water temperature is 92 degrees. It's uh, not exactly ideal conditions, but I'm gonna show y'all what a jig can do in the summertime. So stay tuned, we're gonna catch some fish and I don't plan on leaving here until we catch a four or five pounder. Let's make it happen. Remember what I said about a bass needing to see it a few times before it'll hit it? We fished the absolute heck out of this dock. I was certain there was not a fish there after casting under it several times. Jacob decided to turn around and make one more cast, just for good measure. One more cast is all it takes sometimes. Well, we definitely fished it. Guys, we just, that's a nice one, Jacob. We got a double, baby. Woo! I'm gonna come over to you. I'm gonna bring mine. That is a good one. Here, I'm gonna land mine, y'all, real fast. Or I'm just gonna keep him hooked. I'm coming over to you. Man, we fished that thing so much. I, I caught this thing in about a foot of water. He's not the monster we're looking for, but he is definitely not a bad fish. I'm gonna run into you here, sorry. That's not a bad fish at all, dude. Let me get my uh, phone out here, because 
the GoPro makes them look tiny. This fish in my hand, y'all, is probably about four pounds. But the GoPro is making them look like he's maybe two. That looked like a bass back there behind us. Kidding, this bass in my hand, y'all, is like maybe a pound. Guys, that's just persistence right there. He probably cast it under that dock, and I cast it like 10 times. He probably cast it like 20 times. <laughs> and on the last cast, he caught that bass. It's just amazing what uh, a little persistence will do. You just gotta keep putting it back in the same spot, and eventually that fish will grab it. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. I'm gonna snap a photo for Jacob real fast, and we'll get him on his way. We came to an area with some nice isolated bushes and about three feet of water and I ended up hooking into what I thought was just a little one. Sorry I turned the camera on late. It was just so hot that I had to keep a wet towel over my GoPro to keep it from overheating while it was off. That should give you an idea of what we were dealing with. That's a really nice fish. That might be a six. Get in my hand Woo, baby how about that fish guys i have been fishing all day long i'm gonna get jacob to hold up my phone because this thing is bigger than it looks on the gopro ain't that a big old beautiful fish <laughs> and what did i say when i hooked him and very big gets up next to the boat y'all Almost just about breaks my rod. Beautiful. Good golly. I'm gonna hand you my phone. That's huh? That is a boy. What a tank. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm gonna hand Jacob my phone, y'all, and he's gonna he's gonna get y'all some good footage. Alright guys, I sure hope that fish looks bigger on the phone than he does on the GoPro because I'm telling you, that is a beautiful beautiful bass right there and look at the size of that big old mouth how about that that's just the product of throwing a jig y'all all day long i'm not letting him go yet don't worry but i have been grinding it out jacob's been grinding it out and this is the second fish i've caught i have no idea what time it is but uh it's been a while so stay tuned and we're gonna catch some more just like this beauty all right guys Get him on his way. Beautiful. Sorry I got so excited there. You just have to realize I fished all day and that was the first decent fish. All right, y'all, it is 103 degrees outside. It is hotter than heck. I've changed shirts, lathered on the sunscreen. We're taking a little bit of a break right now. Then we're gonna fish this stuff right here, this thick brush. We're gonna fish it really, really hard, get those bass that are hiding back in there. Then we're gonna head on down a little further that way. There's a dam down there with some thick trees on it, a little deeper water, and we're gonna try that out, see if we can't get Jacob a nice five, six pound bass. So stay tuned and let's see what happens. All right, everybody, when boarding a kayak, it's important to maintain a solid, there we go, a solid balance. Expertly, expertly done. That is the ideal kayak entrance. Back to fishing. <laughs> we fished that timber, then we moved on down to the dam and fished it a little bit with no luck. When we arrived that morning, the water temperature was 91 degrees right out there by the truck. When I left, the water temperature was 94.5 degrees. Y'all, it was unbearably hot outside. So we decided to just call it a day. All right, y'all, we fished that brush pile and then we, we went down to the dam and fished a little bit and then Jacob pointed out, uh, you know, Chase, we got bluebird skies up there, not a cloud in the, well, there's a couple clouds over there, but not very many clouds in the sky, really high pressure, extremely hot. It's 105 degrees outside right now. It's been like this for three days. It's gonna be like this for another five days. Today was probably the worst day of the year yet to fish for bass. But we still made it happen. So I hope you all learned something new. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed, and I'll catch you next time.